TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 25th of August. My pleasure to be here for the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up in another few minutes. But first, we've got the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. update. Dow's up a dollar 98. This is very interesting. Now it's up to at 35,366. I had mentioned to subscribers to my opening call that I did have a Chapman Wave low trend gauge reading. That's Richard Arms uh, index. I just use the numbers of that particular index to suggest that the down, regardless of what happens pre-market, even if the futures are much higher, we should go negative and then have a bit of a rally. It's exactly what we've got. We did go negative. The Dow went down to uh, 35,287. And now it's about 80 points high at 35,361. It needs to clear yesterday's high. That's going to be important. But most importantly, the high of 35,631 is sitting there waiting to see whether or not you've got the S&P. What is the S&P right now? The S&P is uh, just under an all-time high, made an all-time high yesterday. It's at uh, 44.91. If the S&P can get to 44.95, maybe even 4,505 by the end of the week or by early next week. That's going to be very impressive. If it starts to fail here, that's going to be something else. And I'll be discussing that in my show, the Tiger's Ignitions Hour, coming up in a few minutes' time. QQQ, uh, all time high as we speak. It hit uh, 37, 375.39. 37, that's an all time high. Uh, most importantly, you've now got support in the 369 area, 367. We'll see what happens for the rest of the week. IWM is also rallying. That's the Russell 2000. It's up 71 cents at 22.48. It's got quite a bit to go. The all-time high was up in the uh, 234, 35 area. So this is way under that. We're looking at gold. Gold had a very strong session earlier uh, this week, Monday and Tuesday. Now it's giving back, and that's what I've been talking about, that gold is acting okay. It's it's just stuck in the range, and we'll see what happens after this. You've got Bitcoin, which had a very nice rally, went to an all-time, uh, went to a recovery high just three days ago. Stalling here, I'm going to talk about that when we get back. The TLT is going to be really important. It's pulling back, meaning yields are going higher. There's a lot to discuss. I'll be back for the Tiger Conditions Hour and check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few minutes. Otherwise, same time, same station. Bye.